Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Just two weeks ago, a pack SPC came out that gave many of us amazing icon pulls, and it just came back. It is great news for the content and the menu grind of team in the tournament. I want to talk about that, plus a solid player SPC that came out yesterday, but a very confusing Evo. And today's finally the big day for the final of Euro 2024 and the Copa America that awaits us with a potentially massive SBC related to a Spanish player that might be dropping today as well. So we have a lot to talk about, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over that content from yesterday, starting with that player SBC. It was a pretty big name player, to be honest. Rudiger, Real Madrid, center back, German, and honestly here, a really nice card for a couple reasons in which I'd like to mention. We got block plus, intercept, aerial, and slide tackle plus on this Rudiger card. Now, the price of this card is coming in on Footbin at right around 330,000 coins. It is only four squads, which the highest rated squad, I believe, is an 89. Is that right? An 89 rated squad, an 87, two 87s, and an 86. So it is not bad at all to do this card. To be completely honest, if you need a center back in your team that you think you could use for a couple of weeks, I think this is a card you could look to. He does lack a couple of things, and the card is a little bit, I guess, lesser than some of the other great center backs that are out just because he's high high right he does not have the anticipate plus play style he doesn't even have anticipate regular but he does have the all-important aerial and he has intercept and man I, I said this before but I used Rudiger earlier on in the year I packed his gold card in like the second month or the first month of the game and his gold card was very very good I didn't use his team this season that much but I heard that it was pretty solid as well. So I think he's just missing that anticipate, but for the price of the SBC, and also considering the best part of this is probably how many of you guys have Tony Cruz in your team right now, right? Or maybe Arda Goulet or even Josalu, who we're going to talk about here in a second. Like this is a card, especially for Tony Cruz, that provides some great links. I mean, these cards do not give out extra bonus chemistry like a lot of the other Euros cards do, um, but it's still a really good card for that Tony Cruz link and all the other Real Madrid links that you might be going after. So I don't know. I'd rate this as like a seven and a half or an eight out of 10, honestly, because it's a Rudiger card. I know he had a tots, but it's a cheap SBC, and it's one, if you want to craft a center back card, I think it is one to do. Now, I mentioned Josalu. I want to look at this Evo, guys, because Josalu is by far and away the most popular card that people are putting into the Showdown Winner's Boost 3, and normally, we like the Showdown Evos. We usually do, right? But also, most of the time, they're free as well. They haven't all been free, but this one needed to be free. Now, here's the thing. If you have any of these great Showdown cards, like this Thomas Muller, the example here. If you have this card in your club and it's somebody who you use in your team, then the 100,000 coins and the 10 games that it takes, it's a lot of games, 10 games that it takes to get this card upgraded could be worth it for you. It just seems like a lot of games and a, a high price tag for a pretty small upgrade. And the Josalu already has first touch plus. It does give first touch playstyle plus, but for that Muller and for the Josalu both, they already have that playstyle plus. Now here's the thing. It, it almost feels like this Evo, because Joe Salou fits it, and maybe Thomas Muller as well, uh, and since all the pros are using this Joe Salou card, like he was everywhere in the pro events this past weekend, I feel like many people are going to do this just because it makes an already very popular and cracked card get an upgrade. It doesn't even get upgraded in the pace department, right? He gets plus one shooting, dribbling, passing, and physical. That's the upgrade there. It doesn't even upgrade his play style plus, but it kind of feels like a way that EA is just bringing hype to this Evo because there's one or two really insane meta players that fit it. Um, that people are going to go spend the coins or maybe even the FC points to get this evolution done. So, I don't know. I wish this was free. If it was free in the same amount of games, then I'd be here saying, you know what? It's okay. I don't know who I'm going to do this Evo on. Um, I might do Haller just for fun or Mukiele. I don't know. I, I don't really want to put Josalu in it because I have not been using him. Um, maybe I'll save it. There is a hope if England win today that you could potentially put Trippier in it because the stat kind of requirement there is 94 or 95 dribbling. And Kieran Trippier, even with a plus two, would probably not be there. So, Kieran Trippier could fit that evolution and get even a higher boost today. I would be really interested to see how this... Actually, you know what? Is there a playstyle plus um, 
you know, requirement on that because he's got four playstyle pluses. He may not fit that. Let me double check that really quick as we're thinking about it. Number of playstyle pluses, max three. He does not fit it. So you're going to have to choose a previously released showdown card unless I did not check the Copa America ones. That's just one thing I want to run over really fast. Well, the Copa America cards, uh, are those four playstyle pluses? They are. Okay, so neither of the currently released um, showdowns will actually work. But these do expire today. If you want to get involved, you could do one or all four of the SBCs and some upgrades will be coming here pretty soon. Now, let's talk about the good stuff, right? We, you know, that's kind of the mid stuff from yesterday's content. Let's talk about the good stuff. And the good things are the 85 times five. Guys, the upgrade is back. The pack is back and it's so nice. This is, I think, the best like Saturday pack upgrade that we get to do three times per day. I think this is the best one that we've gotten. The 84 times 10 is solid, but I think the 85 five just gives you a higher chance at those higher rateds and honestly packing the promo cards as well. I'm glad they put this one out this week. Again, it was so good two weeks ago when we were in the, the greats of the game promo and we were packing all of those cards from it. Like I, I think I was getting a icon or a hero from an 85 times five. It felt like almost every single day. Now I'm going to open this one right here. This is the first one that I've opened. Let's see how it does. I do not get anything here, but let me know down in the comments how your guys have been. But look at that, right? 87, 88, 286 is an 85. So only 185 in the pack. Higher rated there for other SBCs or for exchanges. No complaints from me at all. Now, I will say it did make some informs fly though, because think about it. The 86 double is the SBC that went away. And I forgot to mention this in yesterday's video, even though I, I had thought about it. I think team of the weeks were like in the low 30,000 coin range, like 32 to 34 K somewhere in there. The 86 double did not have as much hype. I think less people were doing that, but the 85 five it's back. It's got the hype. Look at the state of informs 39,000 coins. They're up massively from yesterday. They're probably just going to keep trickling up in price as more people do the 85 fives and run out of those informs. So of course, when doing that SBC, make sure you do the 83 plus team league player pick. It's way cheaper just to buy the cards to do this off the market instead of buying the informs just takes a little bit more time and you can do it for free with the 82 plus player pick craft and grind. Maybe a couple of objective packs there too. Easy does it. So we love that upgrade pack. Now we did, we did have one more yesterday as well. The 84 times 10 best of nations, which man, I like this. And every single week when we get a best of nations upgrade like this, I'm like, Hey, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to see what I can get. And I always get gold cards. Can somebody in the comments tell me that they've actually packed a promo card from the past couple of weeks from one of these best of nation upgrades since we can only do it once per week. It is an 84 times 10, so you're going to get a lot of fodder regardless. And there's plenty of Copa America and Euro team of tournament cards that would be packable from this. But honestly, I, I'm going to do it. And it's always worth doing because the chance that you could get a really solid pull from this, but I have not had any luck recently. So I'm just, I wanted to ask because I know we always do this SBC, but it hasn't been hitting for me. So hopefully it's been hitting for you guys, but Anyway, that was the SBC content that was dropped yesterday. The upgrade packs were definitely the main thing. And the Rudiger was probably the second most hyped thing. And then that Evo is just kind of there. It's, it's decent if you want to do Joe Saloon, if you have the coins, but it's there. Now, the other thing that dropped yesterday was the 650K Team of the Tournament Duo Guarantee Pack. And uh, from this... I have seen some good pulls. I know a lot of people are really thinking about opening this store pack, of course, with coins. And of course, because of what is out right now in packs, like you take a look, right? You got Mbappe, you got Jude, you got Messi, you have Conte, Gakpo, De Bruyne, the Teo Hernandez. You have so many insane cards that are in packs right now. The Vinny, the Valverde as well, the Rafinha. Like this one is really tempting, I think, to a lot of people. And I totally understand that. I am going to open it myself this week at some point. There is only one of them there. Uh, there's not multiple of them, which is it's interesting. Usually EA drops that 650k pack instead of twos, but for right now, it's just a set of one. Um, so yeah, I don't know how good these are. I heard that Ericsson was popping up a lot in those. That'd be a nice consolation prize for me personally, because I'm really excited for that Ericsson card. Uh, but there's also a lot of fodder in these packs as well. So yeah, try that out at your own risk. But let's do a quick little like market minute here with these guys uh, looking at these cards here for the moment because yesterday on Saturday, there was actually some pretty insane price rises. Gehi was down at 56,000 coins, under 60,000 coins early in the day yesterday on Saturday and had a big spike to 78,000 coins. Um, and a lot of cards had that trend. Bruno was down at 500 and spiked to 623. 
I think a lot of these cards, people want to use them because their stats are cracked. They've got the four play style pluses. All of them do. And, uh, you know, the pack weights vary. A lot of the fodder cards are very supplied. And then a lot of the middle tier cards, kind of like a Bruno like that, probably the Fabian Ruiz as well. I didn't look at his price graph yesterday, but I'm assuming, yeah, look, he went from 328 and then pre-content went up 90,000 coins to 418K. Now he's back down, of course, and I'm not expecting all the cards to have that sort of a jump today on Sunday, but I just wanted to point that out because people want to try these cards out. That's the point that I'm trying to get across. People want to use these cards and try them out. So their prices are fluctuating. That means good things for the rest of the week as well, in my opinion, in terms of trading and making coins with these cards. Just noticing which ones are more rare on the market, they're going to have the better fluctuations, especially if even if you're just trying to time it for something to buy for your team. Now, here's a card that I just look at from this promo team and I say, wow, this card looks incredibly undervalued. I don't know if I would say that. Like, Marquinhos cards are usually pretty good in game. He's got not only the anticipate plus, he's got intercept plus and pinged pass and long ball pass plus. Long ball pass plus is so OP. Ping pass is nice too to get a ball from your center back to your center defensive mid or a wide midfielder or whatever. He's got 90 passing. And then of course the two defensive play style pluses there are fantastic. Does he have aerial regular? This is the only thing I want to check. Um, he has got aerial regular bruiser block jockey power header and first touch like this is a baller card for 150 160 K and I know that his price is impacted by Rudiger but like that's an insane card I don't know if he's gonna rebound back up at all but that's just somebody who seems to have a decent pack weight and I'm just looking at like stat wise and I'm like uh that's really a nice card. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to invest in him, but um, I'm, I am going to take a look at his like supply on the market really quick and see. Yeah, he's 150,000 coins. Like how many pages do we have? Because even on Friday when I saw his price, I was like, yeah, this guy, he looks pretty packable. But even on the market, he's only got like how many pages? Six pages, seven. I guess for this promo, that's a little bit more than normal, but I'm surprised at how cheap he is. So keep an eye on his price as well. That's just something I wanted to shout out. I'm not buying any of these cards for my team right now. I think they will drop in the next couple of days. Usually Mondays, Tuesdays, these kind of hit the lower points before starting to go back up a little bit. And especially with footies, again, footies is still on the horizon, like literally this next Friday. These cards I would not invest in long term because the hype of that promo is going to be coming up and it's going to make some more cards drop. Last thing I want to mention is watch out for some of the guys that play today that have these cards. Like we're talking the Spanish cards and the English cards. So Gehi, right? We just looked at his item. If if England win today or even score during the game, we're so used to, I think the people are used on the, on this game to having the live cards that upgrade, right? All the PTGs, all the make your marks. These cards are not live, but people might buy them upon a goal being scored. So like Fabian Ruiz or, or Gehi, right? Keep an eye on these cards during the game tonight and also verse, uh, in the Colombia-Argentina final for the Copa America. Keep an eye on the Messi, keep an eye on the Valverde, keep an eye on the Lautaro Martinez because those cards could be moving in price as well because people think they're going to get upgrades because every other Euro promo card so far has been live. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention if you're going to be paying attention to the market today at all. Let's talk about today though and start by talking about those games again because we've got the big finals today, guys. Big day. Finally, it's here. Upgrades are on the line and you know what I'm going to say. Sell it in the hype because whoever wins... The prices might spike a little bit, but whoever wins, yeah, Saka or Pedri would go to 99 rated. Those are kind of the marquee upgrades. You got a couple other cards here that could have some pretty big stat boost and, you know, hit those really big time ratings like the 99 rating, right? That could be big. They could go up in price a little bit more during the game or after the game, depending on the result and who wins. But after that, the cards are no longer live. And yeah, sure, they get to 99 rated, but they're going to drop because there's no more upgrades left. And that is what carries the prices for a lot of these cards. The next upgrades kind of carry the prices. So I would definitely sell those in the hype. You guys know I was going to say that. A couple other things though, I want to mention. Carnival Hall comes back today, I believe, um, after missing the semifinal. And it looks like people are remembering that. Look at his card from 600K. He's now 690K. Rudiger could have uh, had some impact on that as well, for sure, with the Real Madrid links. But it's more so the make your marks that have potential either gameplay, appearance boost that they could be hitting today. Cole Palmer, if he sees the pitch today, which he probably will, he's going to go up to a, a plus one. And if he were to score or assist, he would get another plus one. This card could absolutely go nuclear in price today if he scores and scores or assists and sees the pitch, which obviously um, if one of those happened, both of them would. Um, 
at least if he sees the pitch, you know, if he scores, he saw the pitch. That's what I'm trying to say. So if this card's like 1.3 mil and he gets on the pitch, he might jump up a bit. Even if he starts and is in the starting lineup, he might jump up a bit. That's just something to watch out for with a couple of these cards that still need appearance or goal slash assist upgrades. Trent Alexander-Arnold, he needs to see the pitch to get a plus one. So watch out for the lineup and watch for the subs because if he sees the game, he will go up. So he's around 480K right now. There could be some jumps there. But as always, sell on the hype. You don't want to risk it. This Argentina game for the Luis Diaz versus the DePaul, um, that's going to be a crazy one. I'm really wishing they would have given Luis Diaz the 98 rated boost because then it would be a battle for the 99s. But unfortunately, they didn't. I'm, I think, personally rooting for Argentina here because I have more of their cards. Um, but... Yeah, upgrades on the line, man. It's going to be exciting. That um, that Martinez as well right here could be upgraded as well with the win tonight. So we'll look at all that um, tomorrow after the games. The upgrades, I would assume, would come out late in the evening. And I would watch out for also today as a part of content, International Stars. Um, because they haven't dropped any Copa America International Stars yet. But like they usually do for the World Cup, there's big content pieces planned around the finals and who wins. Like they might even update some of these cards. This could impact prices. And this is very hype too. They, it could impact prices on some of the Path to Glory cards. Like even, let's say, Bukayo Saka. They could give him a dynamic image. Uh, remember after the World Cup, they gave all the Argentinian live cards the dynamic images of them holding the trophy up, right? They could do that for a, a card like Saka today for all the English cards if they win. Same thing for Spain if they win. That's just something to watch out for and kind of cross our fingers that we actually see some content for. Now, speaking of one of the nations playing in the final today, we have ourselves here an SBC leak for a player that might be coming out today would not be a bad card to have in this game. He could be actually really, really cracked. It's a big-name player in Rodri. The Manchester City center defensive mid also had a really, really good Euros tournament so far, especially at the very beginning. He did have the yellow card accumulation, so he missed the match, I believe, in there. But what an item this could be. Because I remember during Team of the Season, Prem Tots, when this card came out, and it was crazy. This card was really, really crazy. Ping pass, power shot, and anticipate plus this card was mental now just imagine a plus one boost on this Rodri card and you know definitely gonna have to give him a bit more shooting than just plus one I'm, I'm thinking about how they upgraded Rudiger's card right over the team of the season he got plus twos and plus threes plus three passing three shooting two pace basically plus two everywhere and then some plus threes on Rudiger right think about that sort of upgrade on Rodri we're going all 90s maybe they give him plus five shooting to get to 90 overall there but then he's gonna have upper 90s defense and then probably 95 or 96 physical this could be a really really good center defensive mid card if they give him i would say for a fourth play style plus if they kept those three the same if they gave him press proven intercept or there was one other that i was kind of interested in long ball pass plus if they gave him either of those three for the uh final play style plus that could be a really nice card this spc i know that the player spcs recently they have not been that expensive ea since darwin nunez Honestly, if I'm thinking back correctly, there have not been that many really expensive ones. I mean, sure, we had Vitinha. He was a couple hundred thousand coins wide, like four or five hundred K for him. Rudiger was a little bit cheaper. But like, I'm talking a million coin player SBC in here. We haven't had that for a minute. Jota was pretty expensive too, but I'm talking over a million coins. Maybe this Rodri is going to be a player like that. Maybe he's not. I'm not entirely sure, but he's going to be very high rated because his team of the season is a 96. And that might be our SBC today. I kind of hope that it is. But if Spain lose, then I think the hype maybe would be pulled away a little bit from that. We'll see. We'll see. But that's a big name, at least, to be leaked as an SBC. Now, there is one other name that has been leaked as well. But this... If this is going to be an SBC, it's going to be a really, really cheap one. And I just, uh, you know, a nice card to commemorate how um, the Georgian goalkeeper, Mamadarshvili, I'm butchering that, but how he played during the tournament because he definitely is deserving of this card. I just also wonder if it's an SBC or if there's going to be a mini release because this could be a card that definitely gets into a mini release. We have a lot of cards in packs at the moment with both tournaments getting a team. Um, but we'll just have to see what goes on there. They have not been doing too many of the mini releases recently in promos, but maybe they'll do that for this one. We will have to see. Could be an SBC though, like we mentioned as well, and is in the graphic here. Now, here's what I want to cover for the last bit of the video today, guys, is Sunday content that we could see 
today. Maybe a final related SBC, maybe like a pack upgrade or something. Watch out for maybe even like a halftime challenge. That's something uh, that we maybe need to look out for as well. And there's not a whole lot of news about this certain SBC, but I want to pull up a tweet. Um, that I saw earlier in the day yesterday. It does have to do with icons. Remember how we had the DDA Drogba SBC? Well, I guess we're getting another one. This hasn't really been posted a lot of different places, but I believe that this is a, a legit leak because I believe EA Sports FC, the official page for the pro website, um, reposted this tweet that there's going to be another one of these SBCs released for the winner of that tournament, the FC Pro tournament yesterday, which was Anders Vergang. So it's going to be either Van Basten, Balik, Kuman, Nesta, Perez, or Raquel May. So I would imagine that um, Anders gets to choose, and then that's the card that we would see released in the game. That's not 100% sure yet. That's just my guess. Uh, but we maybe have another Icon of Species coming probably in the next few days because remember that drug, but didn't drop right away. That's just something I wanted to mention. And speaking of Icons again, we had the hero pick last week. Today could be a banging day of content if they release the 91 plus pick again as an icon version and they include both team one and team two of greats in the game. That would again mean you have R9, you have Dino, Zidane, all of those cards that actually we've been talking about recently that have been dropping down in price. All of these cards have not been available in an icon player pick yet. Is it too early for that? Will EA withhold that for another week or two and wait till footies? There's definitely potential for that, but this could also just be a, hey, footies is going to be coming soon, so we want to drain you, your fodder, with the player SBCs and with an upgrade pack for icons, icon player pick like this. So I think there's actually potential for that. If they did it, that could be a banger. That might be the biggest SBC today, depending on what the content actually is. So I want to kind of prepare you guys for that and kind of shout that. Um, because there could be a really good icon player pick today, or it could just be a re-released pretty mid icon pick. Now, I do have some 86 doubles. We're going to open one or two of these. We'll go until we get dupes. How about that? I was really hoping for promo cards, man, because I have only packed so far from player picks. I have packed two of the cards in this promo team. They've been really fodder ones as well. I think I packed... Um, they were both Copa cards as well. Oh, I mentioned it yesterday. Yeah, I got Martinez and I got Crepo, the Canadian keeper. So 86 double. Come on, show me the flare. Another one here. Nah, man, no flare. At this stage of the year, we're just hunting for the flares. And the best thing is, is that footies coming next week is going to give us an abundance of the colorful flares. And it's going to be just like a party on this game for the next like month because that's how long footies usually goes and they always do the re-release of cards back in packs. I'm really curious as we're going to talk about this later in the week for sure, but looking forward to footies, are they going to do what they did last year? And I think two years ago as well, the first time ever, was it last year or two years ago that they put footies cards into packs? That was something they had never done before. Footies was always an SBC based with the voting and stuff like that type of promo and then objective cards too. But last year, they put the footies cards in packs. I bet they put them back in packs this year as well, just because we know how things trend. But uh, we'll have to see. There's going to be a lot of news coming on that later in the week, I'm sure, as we'll probably get some leaks as well. And speaking of leaks, we have had a lot of FC25 leaks recently, and I want to hear from you guys. Do you want me to make a video on those leaks specifically and kind of like cover all the leaks so far? Or do you just want me to wait? Because a lot of the leaks that have been coming out are kind of like, they're, they're smaller things. They're, they're definitely interesting things, like this Rivals leak that came out yesterday about a, a system of points instead of just wins. I think we had a, a point system earlier in Rivals a couple of years ago, or it was in Champs, one of the two. And then there was also something about um, like the cover and uh, what was the other thing? Oh, like a duplicate storage. Yeah, there was tweets about a duplicate storage yesterday as well, like some place to put your untradeable duplicates. Um, so if you want me to do a video on that, we'll do it. It might be on the second channel, depending on how things are going. But just let me know if you're interested in that. It's like, all right, I'm, I'm seeing the leaks and I want to like talk about FC25 or if we just want to wait until more stuff comes out because I feel like we're getting little bits and pieces here and there but not like uh the boom you know like release reveal that sort of stuff so let me know in the comments what you think about that and uh best of luck to all of you supporting your nation today especially if you're English you're Spanish you're Colombian or you're Argentinian best of luck in your final games and today's a big game for football let's have it boys if you're excited for that drop a thumbs up on the video drop a comment down below of any of the things we mentioned and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow and hopefully a stream as well. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace out.